Hi friends, so all of my cosmos have basically died. They actually um, gave lots of flowers over the summer. It's now mid-September and they have petered out. That's fine, I have gotten lots of flowers from them as well as seeds. So here I'm going to harvest some Melissa officinalis today, otherwise known as lemon balm. So I'm not sure what's going on because my tomato plants are quite green. However, there aren't really many blossoms on there. We had a heat wave, so maybe that killed off all the flowers. But there aren't that many fruit amongst all of this foliage for miles and miles. So I saw a few, a few tomato plants, but they're green. So I don't know if something's eating on them. I know I had some kind of creature eat some of my tomatoes, my big ones, that I even bagged. And they just ripped the bag open. So, but let me show you my other tomato plants. They have little tomatoes, but they're really, really tiny. They're supposed to be cherry tomatoes, but they're ending up being like the spoon tomatoes. They're really tiny. I know I've seen a lot of grasshoppers lately, but I'm guessing that they're helping to eat aphids and other insects, but I don't know if they're eating some of my plants. And I've been feeding my beds with some fish emulsion. So that's why they're so lush and green, but just no fruit. So this one's giving me fruit, but it's taking a while to turn red. And in this bed, for some reason, all of the tomatoes are small. So they're like the spoon tomato sized. It's quite annoying because I like the cherry sized, but I'm not too upset because we had tons and tons of fruit this year, tons of tomatoes. So uh, we have frozen some, we have freeze dried some, and we've eaten plenty and shared some with our friends and family. One of my favorite tomatoes is this Patio Choice. They're plump and they turn bright yellow when they're ripe and they're they're really great. They're still producing. My other favorite tomato is this indigo rose. They're really pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to harvest some chili peppers. I don't know if you'll be able to see my harvest. I'm usually not too keen on harvesting um, while I am filming while I'm harvesting because it's hard to do it with one hand. This is my patch of uh, chili peppers and banana peppers that I grew last year. Ooh, this one got too heated by the sun. It got burnt. So this, these um, chili pepper plants were overwintered. So they're pretty good. They're pretty large. Uh-oh, I got too much of a branch here. <laughs> That's weird. It must have cross-pollinated because this bell pepper-ish looking thing 
is on the same plant that has the banana peppers. I grew a variety in this bed, so there's quite a few different chili pepper types in this bed. Let me move you a little bit. There's a big one. Right over here. While I'm here, I try to weed the area so that the weeds don't take all the nutrients away from my plants. And I just kind of put them up so that they can, um, so they don't touch the soil and reroot. Ooh, there's a bunch. So I still have a bunch more peppers, but they're still green. Um, so I accidentally got this one that's not quite as red. But um, I think these are the mild version of the jalapeno, the tam jalapeno. So the greener it is, the less spicy, and the redder it gets, the more spicy. Hi friends, it's nearly the end of the season for growing flowers and all kinds of stuff so this is the time that you harvest uh, the seeds so this is the Diablo Cosmo it's the really bright orange uh, flower Cosmo that I grew and it was so prolific and this variety grew so nicely and so quickly it was an early bloomer and provided flowers all the way till now it's still blooming but it's slowing down and this is what I do. I, I cut off the stems um, all the way to where it starts to leaf out. And I let it dry a few days and then it makes it easy for the bits to fall off. And I just go like that. And all these are just the petals and stuff like that. So what you're looking for when you're looking for the seeds, I just kind of go like that and pull it off of the the thing that holds it together, the stem. So nothing there. All this yellow, golden stuff, brown stuff, is not the seed. <clears throat> so I keep doing it until I find the seeds. Still no seeds. But this is what shows why this is such a strong plant and that it blooms so well because the seeds are the biggest Cosmo seeds that I, I've seen. Look at how big they are. So, so here's all the chaff. And here is the seed. It is so, my goodness, it's hard to grab because it's still holding on to those little tiny tidbits. Here is the seed, quite long, quite big. I harvested the other uh, varieties and the seeds are like just half as long. So these are it and I just set them aside and I just keep collecting all throughout the season. 
uh, but especially because you still have to deadhead your plant in order to have lots and lots of flowers and blooms throughout the season. Otherwise it'll say, I give up, I already made my offspring and then the plant will die. So I've been harvesting the deadheads all year, all season long, all summer, and I've been looking for the seeds because um, what I do is I share it with my friends and family so that they don't have to spend the money to buy the seeds ever again. <laughs> you just invest in the seeds once. So still I don't see it, but that one plant offered me two seeds. So quite prolific. Here's another one. I already see it. So you just take off all this chaff and you get the seed. It's so easy to spot. And we'll just keep going. Nothing there. And then what I do is I collect all this chaff and stuff. I put the seeds away and uh and I label it um 2024 and I label what it is Diablo Cosmos and I put it in a uh, paper envelope or a paper bag so that it can breathe so so far no other ones but there were days where I got like 20 seeds just from a few dead heads so, yeah, right now the plant is tapering off, and it. But I'm really thankful. It has been from one one Cosmo plant. It made me many, many tons of blooms, and it looked gorgeous all season long. So, I got three seeds out of oh half a dozen stems, a little eight, ten stems. But that's perfect. That'll give me three plants, <laughs> which would give me even more blooms and more seeds if I wanted but I already collected my share of seeds for this variety so they're long like that so. so likewise for the candy stripes Cosmo and let me show you um, so never mind all the petals and stuff, they'll fall off. And I just cut off the stem, make it less cumbersome for us. Same thing, I just grab the blossom, take off all the petals and such. Oh, and I took out the seed as well, it came right off. So you have to let it dry, it makes it a lot easier for the, the bud to let go of the seeds and the petals. So. Um, so you'll see that here's one seed and it's a lot smaller, it's a lot smaller than the seed for the Diablo Cosmo. So this is a candy stripe, oh there's two seeds right, so that's the second seed. Anything that has a little stiffness and darkness to it, that's the seed. So, so far two, just from one flower bud, deadhead, and as you can see it can self seed quite easily by itself but I want to save the seed so it can grow in particular places next year so that's the reason why I harvest it. And I also want to share with my family and friends. So there's a third seed and a fourth seed. So they're a lot smaller, but it's actually making quite a few seeds. And in fact, this plant that I'm growing this year, the Candy Stripes Flower um, Cosmo, is grown from a seed that I, I grew the plant last year. So that's, so this one, although the seeds are smaller, there are many seeds per, per deadhead, per flower. As you can see, I am finding so many already. That's the sixth one, seventh, eighth. 
ace, ninth, tenth seed. <clears throat> so let's say out of ten seeds, um, two didn't germinate. You've got eighty percent success right there. Or you know, out of ten seeds, nine successfully made flowers, then you you got ninety percent success germination rate. So what was that? Ten, eleven. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So it helps to have like a white surface so you can see more easily which are your seeds and which are your petals. So every time I speak, I forget what my count was. <laughs> so it's somewhere around 15 seeds. Here's another one. And that is it. So what I do is I throw the chaff back into my garden bed to kind of like mulch the surface of the garden bed. Recently, I had a pink hollyhock volunteer to grow in my parkway. So I let it bloom and then go to seed. So I harvested all of these and I'm gonna collect the seeds. So that's basically what you do. You just pull off these petals and then you collect all these seeds. Each little disc is a seed. So you can get, so that's gonna be one plant, that's another plant. I mean, you could get tons of plants from just one seed pod and look at how many pods I've got tons of them